how to lose hundred thousand dollars and how can our create the custom body kit and which advanced technologies did we use this is fresh racing and we are ready to share details about manufacturing the lightweight body kit we'll tell with the head of the production carbon about the issues we faced with and announce the big news so stay tuned and make sure to be subscribed on the channel and let's immediately get started building the drift car like a racing team. Of course, we make the ultimate drift solution as the car in the box for those who want to make the turnkey based drift car on a platform and the chassis of Nissan 370 and 400T. And our specialists with over than 5, 7, and even 10 years of the experience of the motorsport exactly know how to make the best engineering solution for the exact platform. And in this case, it's Nissan Z1. So one of the most crucial and important components in this case is the body kit. And it's not just about the sleek design, it's about functionality, durability, and light weight under their racing condition. So why did we decide to make it from uh, the scratch by ourselves? There is four main reasons for us as a fresh racing. Weight, unique design, versatility, so it needs to fit for 370 and 400Z both for both platforms. And the components diversity, so you can order the carbon Kevlar, carbon fiber or FRP even materials. There are two main features to draw attention while you're manufacturing your body kit. It has to be lightweight and the impact resistant. It means when your car under the damage or under the crash, it has to be remain this stable. So don't chattering, don't cracking and so on. That's why the first component we use in the first material is the carbon Kevlar. Kevlar is impact resistant and it doesn't crack or shatter. And the carbon is more rigid, it's more lightweight, it uh, distributes the energy more efficiently, but it tends to crack. So at the combination, they are ideal. Deal. The second option is the pure carbon fiber. As you see, we made one of the flares from this uh, material and it's the same for the expenses, but it's more time consumable because you have to layer up and line all these uh, materials uh, more precisely and more productively compared to the random layering up of the carbon Kevlar. Uh, the second option. As you know, carbon is not flammable and it doesn't burn. So it's the key benefit of this component. So we're trying to burn it out and as you see it doesn't burn in any case but uh, uh, yeah uh, but you know that uh, the details from the carbon is still burning is due to the resin of course and now we're thinking about the manufacturing the whole body kit that would be not flammable and not burnable and the third option is the fibroblast it's the ideal option for uh, mid-level athletes and it's quick with the production but it's less impact resistant unless the vacuum infusion for the carbon fiber or carbon when we're getting under the pressure uh, materials and uh, layup here we have the hand layup uh, when you're using uh, the parts of the FRP but uh, in this case it's less uh, impact resistant so anyway if you'll choose FRP or Cumber Kevlar or carbon or pure Kevlar anyway uh, the safety parameters are already covered and it's ideal with the weight distribution so choose whatever you want Developing body kit is not just about pouring the form with the material of mold. It's more about the precision engineering and its complex and multi-step process. We've started with the 3D scanning of the platform of 370 and 400Z. We discovered and found out that they have the different uh, door panels, rear fenders and the installation parts for headlights. So we need to take it into account when we're making the 3D model of this body kit. So after 3D model, we're moving now to the installation and the production. When we received uh, the models from our designer's team, we can start processes for creating the molds. And now I will explain you how we can make it. So first step, we need to prepare and see programs for CNC meshing. 
After this, uh, we can uh, join together MDF sheets to create blocks for CNC milling. When these blocks are ready, we can put it inside of the CNC machine and start process of CNC milling. Then we can remove our CNC parts from the machine. And after this, we can join it all together and bond it. And after this, we can start a process of applying putty and prime coat on the surface of the plug. Then we can start sanding process, uh, sanding and polishing. When surfaces will be done and 100% uh, uh, smooth and uh, ideal, we can start applying of sealer and release agent. And then we can apply mold gel coat, mold resin and full layer of molds. And after 24 hours, we can demold our mold. And when our mold is ready, we can start serial production and we can start the process of making the parts. For example, if we need to create a carbon cable part, we need to put all layers of dry carbon fiber fabric inside of the mold. And after this, we need to create vacuum bag uh, on our mold. When we will be sure that our vacuum bag don't have leaks and everything ready, we can mix our epoxy resin and start the infusion process. We need to wait 24 hours before we will start the process of removing parts of the molds. When we will remove the molds, we can start trimming process uh, and everything done. Big and important news, we have finally opened the pre-order, the official pre-order of the body kit. It will be all through the website, so link will be here in the description below. So check about the details, manufacturing uh, deadlines, because you know, first come, first serve. So make your spot on the line and make it earlier than your rivals. When it comes to mass production, even the small mistake at the start can turn into disaster, leading the waste of money, resources, and most importantly, time. And you know, Time is never priceless. One of my suppliers told me one story, how one company lose $100,000 just in a few hours and uh, maybe six months of the working time. One company ordered from my supplier a uh, release agent system. Uh, it's the system including uh, three uh, types of materials. It's uh, cleaner, sealer and release agent. And this company uh, messed up sealer and uh, release agent. And just in few hours, they lose maybe $1,100 mold. It was big mold for a huge board, uh, but uh, when they produce the part, uh, this part stick to the mold and they throw uh, this mold and this part together to garbage. So only one mistake can uh, cost you very big money. Back to our current body kit. During development, we discovered a few areas for improvement. And now we can be 110% sure that it's ready for mass production. So, and this is our door. And now I will show you everything. So door have inner and outer shells. And when we bond it together, uh, we found that we don't have access inside of the door. Sometimes uh, we will need to repair it or fix uh, something like lock or door handle inside. And uh, now we found that we need to make different the model uh, to have access inside of the door. Also, we found that uh, the gap between this inner shell and uh, our chassis, it's too big and the smoke during the runs will come inside of the cabin. So it's, uh, we want to fix this issue and we want to create uh, the best solution uh, for our clients. So we will create the new model and we will change uh, the full design of our inner shell. Another challenge is uh, we work with more than 20 suppliers in more than 10 countries. And now we have the best suppliers and now we have the best material to start the mass production of our body kit.
If we will start this project right now, we can do it more faster and more efficiently. For example, before it took six months to finish everything, but now I can be sure that we can finish it within three months. And this is how we can do this. The first one, this is our workflow optimization. Before we make all parts one by one, but now uh, we can start five or six infusions just in one shot. It can save us a lot of time. Second, this is our dry and time optimization. Now we keep all parts to stay for curing overnight. And in this way, we can be sure that uh, when we will come to workshop at morning, we will have a lot of parts ready for the next steps. And third one, test grouping and management optimization. Now we have a critical mass of knowledges and all opportunities to start mass production right now. And now it's the moment of truth. The project of body kit we've been working for the last six months is finally ready. Where to see it? On our website. You make the detail clean and check out of the spec of the material. You can choose the uh, body kit form, the details that you need, and design how it looks like. So, an official news, we opened the pre-order of this uh, body kit, so, uh, you know, the first come, first serve, then since the season is about to start, it's your turn to make the line and queue of this uh, body kit. So, make sure to check all the details in the website, link will be below, so, uh, hurry up! As you see, our body kit is not just the well-designed product, it's more about the functionality, durability, weight reduction, aerodynamic, and so on. So the next steps are just to test it on the track, and we're convinced that it showed itself as we predicted. It was fresh at racing, make sure to be subscribed and like this video, and we'll continue making videos about the manufacturing the best drift car you've ever seen. Fresh X.